Hello and welcome everyone to another Bokkie Tome tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to make this crocheted frame. First you will need a frame that you want to cover in crochet and I'm going to use this frame. It's a kind of silver that needs polishing and I do not like to polish. So I'm going to cover this frame in a crochet frame. And what you will also need to do is make a swatch um, with the yarn that you want to use for your frame. I've made so many of these mini granny strands already. I'm just going to use one that I have lying around. And with that swatch, you can see how many mini squares you're going to need to fit on the all sides of the frame. So one, two, three, four, six. I'm going, I'm going to need six mini squares along that side. And what's that? Two, four, six, eight to the top. If you are not familiar with my mini squares yet, I suggest you check my other tutorial, Pop Art Pillow Cover Part 1. And in that tutorial, I explain how to make the, the, the starting mini square, the corner mini square and the straight mini square. So these are corner mini squares and these are straight mini squares. And it uh, will be helpful if you know how to do those. Before. My first starting mini square is ready and I'm ready to make the next uh, straight mini square. And um, so we will be working from here to the left, there will be a corner, then you go straight up, another corner, to the right, another corner, and back down here, and you will make the connection. And then you start the return pass, going all the way around back again, and in that return pass, all those mini squares will be finished, including this first one. So on the forward pass, all mini squares are incomplete. I will just show you this one straight mini. I have chain six. And all next minis will start in the same way. And now you slip stitch in the back loop of, of the back bump of the third chain from the hook. One, two, three. It's this little bump here. So. And then mark this space here. You're going to need to work in there. And it's easier to find it if it's marked. Finish your slip stitch and chain three. All new or all next mini squares will start in the same way and this whole uh, thing here does not count as a stitch. PLT pull loop through in that double crochet on that is below this one here pull up through and double crochet in that marked space. The first double crochet will be hard to make after that it will get easier, pull up through in the next double crochet double crochet again in this new mini, pull up through in the next double crochet and there's the third double crochet in that new mini Next, the corner needs to be connected and you will pull up through in this corner space here. Chain two, one, two, and three double crochet. Three double crochet made, chain two, and three more double crochet. The first straight mini is complete and now I can just start with the next one. You just repeat all the motions that I just show you, uh, starting with the chain six. I have completed my four straight minis, one, two, three, four. And the next mini is going to be a corner mini. Remember, I had my swatch here and those were six minis total. And this six mini, we're working in that direction. This mini is going to be a corner mini. So we're going to work up to that, di in that direction next. So we're going to go around the corner. I started that corner mini here and like I said before, every next mini starts in the same way. So I've made the chain six, the slip stitch and the chain three and I am now ready to make the pull up throughs in that previous granny here. 
and that too is going to be the same for every next granny um, you make the first double crochet there pull up through here in the next double crochet on that previous granny you make the second double crochet for the new granny pull up through in the third double crochet here on that previous granny and make your third double crochet in the new granny and you have to connect the corner again in here with a pull up through and chain two then three double crochet three double crochet made and believe it or not that's the corner granny that's all there is to it so all you need to do now is continue with more straight grannies on top of here and those are made in exactly the same way as we did here so i'll just give you a progress report when i'm at the next corner and i hope everything is clear and here is the promised progress report and you might think i'm panicking now because it looks rather short and narrow everywhere but i'm not um with the swatch i measured that the long side would need eight minis um and i have eight minis here one two three four five six seven eight um all these minis still need to be completed so then they will be wider and longer i'm not worried and also i'd rather have it uh, a tighter fit around the, the frame than a loose fit it'll look neater when it's tighter uh, so i'm not worried and i'll just continue and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to add one two three four four straight minis on this side a corner mini and then one two three four five six straight minis on that side and then that will be connected to this very first mini here and i'll show you how to, how that is done this is what my crocheted frame is looking like at the moment and i am ready to connect this last mini granny here to the very first mini granny and before you connect just check that your mini granny count on all the sides is um, the same so one two three four five six down here one two three four five six there and eight here and eight here these are seven plus this one makes eight like i just said i will be connecting this mini granny to that mini granny over there and before I do that, I'm just going to check that it's not twisted, this whole strand here. And then there we go. Chain one and pull up through, through this chain space here on that first mini granny. Chain one again. And then pull up through on the double crochet next to that chain space. Now double crochet into this granny here, that last granny that you made. Pull up through to the next, the loops of the next double crochet. Double crochet again in that last mini. Pull up through in the third double crochet here. And make the third double crochet on that last mini. On the side before we start the return pass we do need to connect to the corner of this first mini granny here with a plt i almost forgot that now chain two one two and three double crochet one two three chain one slip stitch in these two loops here chain one and three double crochet and that is how you are going to complete all of these uh, straight minis and in between you will chain one slip stitch in the two loops there and i'm not getting it right two loops there slip stitch and chain one so and then it will start to look like this and I will show you how the corner is done when I get there. So that is all you need to do is three double crochet 
chain one, slip stitch, chain one. I completed this mini granny with three double crochet. After every three double crochet, you chain one and slip stitch in these two loops here and chain one again. And now you're ready to complete that corner. And I think you might guess that it's just going to be a three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. And that's all you need to do in those corners. Just like a regular mini granny. Two, three. And then again, chain one, slip stitch, and chain one. And this is how you go around the complete frame. Last three double crochet made, chain two, cut the yarn, already did that, and pull it up and out. You can work away this yarn end, the starting yarn end, in that magic ring over there. And this yarn end can just be um, worked away like this. Insert the needle under that first double crochet over there. And in that last chain stitch and in that second chain stitch that you started there and pull it tight. This does not count as a stitch and I'm leaving this yarn end here as a reminder and it can be worked away in the next round of single crochet. This is my crocheted frame on top of the frame that it's going to be on and it's fitting rather well I think. It needs a bit of stretching, but that's okay, uh, even better. And so don't panic if your frame looks a little bit small, this is all okay. What you need to do next is make another frame in exactly the same size as the frame that you just made here. And you don't have to make that in exactly the same color, uh, go wild I would say. I used a different color on the back of this frame, um, I didn't go wild here, um, but that will give you some more options because you can use both sides of this crocheted frame. The two parts of my crocheted frame are ready and what comes next is the side of the frame. I'm just going to show you the side of the frame that I made before for this one. And uh, what I did here was, um, let's hold it this way, I, I did a half double crochet in the back loop of every stitch, skipping all these PLTs. So I did a half double crochet. Um, this was a rather fat um, frame that needed to be covered. Um, you can do a single crochet as well. That doesn't really matter. So depending on the, the thickness of your frame, so the one that I'm going to cover now is not so very thick, I think I will do a single crochet. Um, so you can choose what you do. You can do a half double crochet, a double crochet or a single crochet. And that's going to cover the side here. And we are not going to increase stitches in the corners. So in these corners you will not increase stitches. This round of single crochet what I'm going to do is going to be worked in the back loop only of um, all the double crochet and chain stitches of every mini granny square. We will skip all the PLTs and um, I'm just going to attach the yarn in this chain here and pull it up. and then chain one, and that will count as a stitch. I will uh, disguise that as a stitch with an um, invisible close at the end of the round. Now, all you need to do is single crochet in the back loops of every stitch all around. If your frame is thicker, um, you can do a half double crochet instead of a single crochet, or even a double crochet instead of a single crochet. And we skip the PLT and head over to the next mini. And then I'll just show you in the corners how that is done. I'm at that corner granny now. And all you do here is single crochet in 
the back loop of each chain in this corner and continue in the double crochets on the other side of that mini granny so no increases um, so this round is really rather straightforward it's just single crochet all around single crocheting around that last corner there and then this round will be finished and here we have the chain two that doesn't count as a stitch I always keep this yarn in here to remind me so this doesn't count as a stitch I'm going to skip that and continue in there three double crochet and a chain and then that mini square is covered as well and this is where we started I'm going to cut the yarn pull it up and out and make that invisible finish over that starting chain as I said before and the invisible finish is nothing more than just inserting the needle under the first stitch the loops of the first stitch and back down the center of that last stitch and in between that top of the chain and do not pull it tight and there's your invisible finish and we can work away the yarn ends in the single crochet round I'm just holding my frame, my crocheted frame on the photo frame and checking and I think the single crochet round might be too small to cover the whole side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another single crochet round on this side of the frame and then those two sides will be slip stitched, slipper stitched together. So the back will get a single crochet round as well in exactly the same manner. Both of my parts have a round of single crochet on them now. And um, like I said before, you can uh, make a round of single crochet, a round of half double crochet or double crochet. It all depends on how um, thick or how fat your frame is and um, as long as you just work in the back loops of the stitches and skip all these PLTs so you will have five stitches on each granny and on on each side of each granny so five in the corner as well and because I did single crochet only you will not see it folding around the corners here if I had done double crochet, you would have seen it fall around the corners here because there are no increases in the corners. Anyway, um, when you've done that and you can do it on one side of the frame or on both sides of the frame, it's up to you. Um, if you just do double crochet on one side and then connect to the back, that's perfectly fine as well. Um, I am going to connect these two parts with the zipper stitch and then we are going to do a fitting and see how that all fits the zipper stitch is just a way to connect two parts together and i'm quite in love with this method um, you work in the back loops only so and you keep your working yarn at the back of your work that's uh, what you need to know about the stitch and you will insert the hook in the back loop of the stitch on one side of your work and into the back loop of the same stitch on the other side um, the corresponding stitch there I'm not sure how to say that properly and then you pull up a loop that's the first stitch and then all the next stitches will be worked in the same way you insert your hook in the um, next stitch in the back loop of the next stitch and in the back loop of the next stitch on that side and you pull the yarn up and out and you do not pull it too tight I'm just going to tighten this a bit because that was the first stitch so insert the hook in the next stitch in the back loop of the next stitch 
and pull the yarn up and out. Here we are just a bit closer up to the zipper stitch. I think the camera was a bit far away. Um, but you see what I'm doing, inserting the hook in the back loop on of the stitch on one side and the back loop of the stitch on the opposite side, pulling up the yarn. And every time I am inserting the hook on this side first and then on that side. And it will be nice and neat. And we are about to go around the corner here. And um, this is what it's looking like. I just frogged everything and turned my working direction around. So where first I was holding my work like this and working in this direction, I am now working in this direction. And I will tell you why. Um, when you're using a different color for the zipper seam, like I am now, the color that you insert your hook in first, so I'm inserting it in this or light orange color here first, and then yellow, that color that you insert your hook in first will shine through the zipper seam, if it's a folded seam. Um, this orange is closer to this color than to that color, so the shining through isn't that bad now, as you can see. Um, the other way around, the yellow was shining through and I didn't like it. You can see it best here. There, the pink is shining through. The pink is the side where I inserted the hook first and then in blue. So um, in this case it doesn't matter because this is a flat square, but because this is around the side of the frame and it's folding open, it's visible a bit. So you should keep that in mind when you choose your colors there for the zipper. I'm just doing the last few stitches of that zipper seam. And then that will be done. You can just finish the complete zipper seam in one go. There's no need to keep um, any part open because the fitting of this frame over the photo frame will be easy. There's a big hole here. It will fit, it will stretch. So there's no problem there. You can just finish the seam all in one go. So this is the last stitch. And I used um, a yarn end, but it's still long, so I'm just going to cut it and pull it up and out. And then we're going to finish this with a darning needle. And I already did a fitting in between, so I know this is going to fit. Um, you insert the darning needle under those two loops of that first zipper stitch, put it under there, and then go straight back down where the yarn just came out, to the back, and that is where you can work your yarn ends away. So I know this frame is going to fit, this crocheted frame, I'll just show you how. Let's pull those corners over there. Move it around, pull the next corner over that corner, turn it around again and pull that corner over that corner there, and you're all set. And it's fitting. This is the back or the front. You can use both sides. Um, and this can even stand. Just showing you. Okay. We can leave it as it is now, or you can add another round of single crochet on the inside just to give it a little more finish and an another color. And that's what I will do now as well. I will add another round of single crochet on the inside of this frame, and I will also do it on the back so that the frame can be used on two sides. 
the round of single crochet that I'm going to do on this side of on the inside of these mini grannies is also going to be worked only in the back loops of these double crochet and the back loops of the single crochets and also like we did on this side of the mini grannies we are going to skip the PLTs um, the only difference with the outside single crochet um, border that we did we didn't increase or decrease at all and on this inside we will be decreasing in the corners um, i'm gonna attach my yarn right over here and chain one and that will count as my first stitch i will transform that into a single crochet with that um, invisible finish at the end of this round and single crochet in the back loop of each stitch. One more single crochet in the back loop of this double crochet. And then we decrease in the corner. And to decrease in the corner, you insert the hook in the back loop of this chain here and pull up a loop. You skip this complete set here and you insert your hook in the back loop of the chain of that next granny there the next granny after the corner and you finish that single crochet and then you can continue single crocheting in the back loop of each stitch i finished that round of single crochet through over the inside here and i will fit the frame one more time and this time with the green side in front so and this is what it's looking like and i think that looks cute i did not do any blocking um, because it's stretched this much i don't think it needs blocking but if you think it needs blocking be my guest um, and all i need to do now is make the same round of single crochet around the inside of this side of the frame and then both sides can be used if you like to add another round of single crochet like i did on this frame so here i have two colors um you go about it in the same way but then you work in both loops of the single crochet round and in the corner where you will decrease you will do a single crochet two together in this stitch before the single crochet two together and after the single crochet two together and you will skip this single crochet two together um but you don't have to and um, this is as far as i'm concerned this is finished i'll just make one more round here and then it's really finished the crocheted frame is all done and dusted i have made a single crochet round uh, on the back as well and i'm keeping the green side to the front for now we have come to the end of this tutorial i hope everything was clear and if you do have any questions please do not hesitate to ask me i will gladly help Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.